Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, we've had a massive amount of rain. So we've just had 65 mil of rain. We had a big storm come through and what's happened is that it, that rain has sort of brought a few projects which were sort of down the track forward because of what's happened now is that these two rain tanks are just about full. So the one behind me that you can see here, that's our secondary and that's probably only got maybe 5% left to fill. So what I need to do is organize our, well, a new um, water pump station, a little hut, and um, so I can start using that water and distributing it around the farm. So what we'll end up doing is, because we're so close to the machinery shed, because this is the, this, these two tanks here are the overflow or from the rain catchment off the um, machinery shed. This will all be 240. So I won't have to worry about solar or anything like that. Um, Cause we're just about getting to the close of getting our solar stuff organized for the machinery shed. And, um, and so once that's kicked in, then we'll just run a cable straight through and, um, and then that way we can run um, a 240 pump, which is gonna be a better outcome um, for us. The couple of things I wanna organize is not only is the water distribution, um, I wanna start thinking about some wicking beds for some um, basically kitchen herbs. And I wanna see how that sort of comes about and, and, um, and, and how we can make that work. I want to also look at some um, sort of fire sprinklers for the top of the machinery shed and um, just so that we've got a little bit of uh, you know insurance there and should we have a fire come through. So there's a few things that we've got to get organized and firstly I've got to start building up a frame and, um, and then I can start getting the other componentry and things like that ready to rock and roll. So, what we're gonna be doing is just putting it behind me here and, um, and I'll flip the camera around and I'll sort of show you what we're looking at. So um, we'll go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, so here we go. So we've got um, our two, I think they're 25,000 liters. So that's 50,000 liters that we've got sitting here. And like I said, we're about 5% down on filling up this second one um, just in front of me. So. As mentioned before, we, we've got to start looking at this distribution of water. And what I want to do is basically use this second tank um, as the main source for the water distribution. Um, and then what I'll also do is, oh, I might, it's probably in the shadow there, but I've got another outlet there. And what we'll do is we'll bring both those feeds in to the water pump and then we can isolate them. So should this pump or this water tank here dry out or for, for whatever reason, then we can flick over to this one here because I would really want to use this one as the backup. Um, so things like feeding the the house, um, should we need to, we will have it, we'll run a line back to the water tank near the house. We'll look at those wicking beds. Um, we've got to obviously have water and hosing and things like that around the machinery shed just to clean um, tractors and whatnot. So there's a little bit going on and then also have the provisions to then really expand on it. All right, so I've got to set up, a, we'll get a couple of posts sorted out here. I've got some um, old tin sheets left over um, from those remember that we've used from the beehive shelter. So purely just 240 volt, 240 volt, um, and then that'll be just basically run by the solar system inside the, um, inside the machinery shed. So, got to get a few things squared away, and we'll get this frame all um, set up, ready to rock and roll, and, um, and then we're good to go. So, I'll get a few things done, I'll come and find you, and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. It's a bit hard to see, um, because of the sun shadowing and stuff. But pretty much what we've got is our roof and walls and frame and everything's up. And um, I still need to organize um, the flooring and um, we'll get a few things there squared away. But from this little um, pump house that we'll have, what we've got here, um, really what we're gonna be looking at is a really big manifold um, that we can really then select 
where the water is going to be um, sent to. So that's really why we've sort of gone a little bit big um, as a part of length. The width is pretty much typical of, of all our others, which is, oh, I think it's about 600. And, um, and so then we can go from there. So as we start developing and, and getting a few things squared away, I've roughly, I've drawn some diagrams about what I want to do. And, and at the moment I've got seven outlets, um, which I think will probably increase to another two. So I'll have nine outlets where I can send water from, from this point. So it's, um, it's going to be a busy little pump station, this one. And, um, but at least that way, we're all then water savvy and we can then get everything squared away and then send it to where we need to. And then like all our others, we'll have everything on timers. Um, and with the pump itself, um, because it's gonna be 240, that'll also have a, um, a pressure sensor in it. So that'll just tick off when required um, and then go from there. All right, so for all about getting your basically stage one um, new water pump house squared away. All right, so here we are. We've finally finished our little, um, or our main pump station, I suppose we can call it now. We've got our door on and um, I've got the flooring in. So um, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll flip the camera around and we'll give you a little bit of a tour. So um, what we'll sort of be looking at here is the, um, because it's going to be our main um, pump station really for the front end of the property. And, um, and so we're going to have, we've got a little bit larger than normal. And, and so based on that, we're going to be looking at around about nine outlets. Um, seven which we're going to be pretty much using straight away um, but two certainly for backup and um, and for extra things that come along and, and they do you know like oh I need an outlet for that or I need an outlet for that and that was probably one of the mistakes I made on the other ones is that I didn't make provisions for adding things on where I should have just had the outlet done and put a tap on it and just left it so and then when we're ready we can then just attach to it all right so i'll turn this camera around so i'll see you soon all right so here we go so i've got um our door on and um that's all ready to go and we've got the flooring in so what we've done is we've just used that um polymer decking um just inside there I thought about water resistant and things like that. So that's probably much why I've used that. That's the same as the, um, the bee shelter, which is exposed. And our door, we've got a little latch. So that's all now ready for our component tree. And so I'll start looking around and getting a few things sorted out there. And um, so the first thing will really be is the, is the pump and then where that's going to be positioned. Um, well then the manifold and everything else will pretty much then follow suit from there um, what i do know though is that the the pump will sit on this side and and then the manifold will run across this way so basically what's going to happen is as those pipes drop through they'll then go around um, around the water tank here all right so there we go so all about setting up your really your main water distribution point, your new pump station. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.